Viewers will recall that His Excellency President Mills, in view of his commitments to maintain a very transparent and then effective administration, he instituted the National Policy Fair every other year where the ministry, departments and agencies will come out to the public to discuss with the public, open their doors to the public, for the public to have access to them, to know exactly what they do, to know exactly the policies that His Excellency President John Ivanisata Mills had instituted since he was given a mandate in 2008. Tonight we'll look at the mixed bag of these issues under the overview of the Better Ghana Agenda. And to help us with the discussion is uh, Abubakar Mustafa, who is the PRO, the Public Relations Officer of Maslok. Mustafa, you're warmly welcome. Thank you very much, my brother. Yeah, How Elia, you? Uh, very well. Elia, you were at the, the, the forum of uh, uh, RAP, the, 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 the uh, uh, research and advocacy platform. How mm. is the atmosphere in there like? Well, what they're launching the, the Green Book. The Green yes, Book. Yes. Well, 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 very, very um, exciting. You see the faces of the people that. Uh, the monies that have been given to the government to manage on mm. behalf of the people are mm. really being put into good use. Okay. And you see the atmosphere. People are yearning just to see the book, just to get hold of the book, to be to able know to what go is out in there, there and then preach the gospel. So uh, what people are just uh, hearing what the, the, the speakers are saying, but okay. all along it's like, give us the book, let us you have want the book. You want to see too. the book. Let's move out there and show mm. the people that, yes, we've done it. Okay. We've done it within the three years that we've given a mandate of four years. And it's been so far so good, mm -hmm. better than what we had in the past. Uh, <laughs> years, you know. I, I, I guess the book now is more or less like, like the That's spear the hot kick. and the shield the hot kick, for, right? for our communicators to go you, out there to do the job. It second to a Bible as at now. Mm. I mean, after the Bible or the Quran, rather than this is the book that people are yearning to see. Exactly so. Feel. Because, of course, their monies have not been in vain. People have not squandered their monies we've seen in the past. Mm. I mean, the books we have seen so far that have come under the former regime of the so far so very good. Um, you yourself saw what they put in. I mean, just to cover a little of it, I mean... I just want listeners to know exactly that mm. the bringing out of this book mm. is not because we say the MPP brought the so far so very good. Not at, so all. Bring it. not at all. Mm. And it is important that for whatever reason or password that has been put in place in government coffers, mm. we need to come out with a detailed step-by-step -step project that, of course, government has undertaken over the last three years. Okay. And so we need to put this in for the ordinary Ghanaian to be able to see, not only read, but see the pictures. Okay. Unlike the times we saw, uh, the recent one we saw uh, in the past, well, if you took, if, I didn't bring that book though because of yeah. the rush yeah. in which I was coming. If you look at the book, which was the foreword was written by Damboche, mm. the former Minister of Information, mm. uh, you go and see uh, in some of the pages, like the page uh, here, page 58, where the crowd were just uh, yeah, yeah, cheering, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. cheering the president. Uh, in, it was in, an in achievement for exactly. the MPP. In, I mean, in one breath, you had people hunting leaders. As an hunting as, uh, yes, an a statue of King uh, you go, I mean, just receiving a gift. When you go to page 56 of their book, you mm. see receiving a gift. The mm. president Kofo was receiving a gift. It's an achievement. It's an achievement. Okay. And then he had to go and commission as eight-seater, uh, what's the name? Uh, women training. Is it a public toilet? Yeah, for public women toilet. The KVIP. KVIP. Under the hippie class. At Amamfo Bekwa in mm. Ashanti region. It mm. was an achievement. Okay. I mean, it, it was so surprising mm. that we waste a taxpayer's money mm. to bring out such a book. And all we could see is that the catching of a deer or monkey smiling on trees, smiling on trees yeah. and then crazy, crazy, I mean, uh, cutting of a salt for a project when the, salt, the project has not even started. Mm. Just cutting of a salt. Mm. And even, you know what backers me, no. when even the vice president had to go and then even kick a football. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, I saw that picture. And as then well. you realize that the, the, it was the, also. The soldiers were pulling, they were, oh were engaging God, in tug of war. The people of Ghana <laughs> were really into that. So, you realize that's the far, far difference. And mm. when you look at our book, I mm. mean, this. Uh, a 90, a, an 87 page book yeah. with 90 achievements. Mm. We're not going to talk only about the theories. Yeah. We built this book in order to be able to show the people of Ghana that region by region, mm. district by district, there these are the number of projects that, of course, the people of Ghana's money that they've given, the taxes that they've paid, have been put into good use. Okay. So, as we're going along, I'm sure we'll be able to give some recaps of some of the projects. Okay, before we even zoom into the content of the Green Book, let me just bring this as a way of information to the good people of Ghana. And for many of you who are watching us across the world on www.multitvworld.com forward slash streams, we welcome you to the show and is the majority caucus. His Excellency President John Evans Otter Mills, through a press statement uh, signed by uh, the Secretary to the President, uh, Mr. J.K. Bakumensa announced two new appointments today. Honorable Anthony Jambibi, a former chief state attorney, has been appointed as the second deputy attorney general. He is to ac assist or he is to work hand in hand with uh, uh, Honorable Martin uh, uh, Batten Odru, Odru, yes, as a second attorney general. And that runs contrary to some media claims that Honorable Batten Odru has been fired. Indeed, that is not true. Uh, an, an, additional, uh, an additional appointment by his president. 
His Excellency the President has been made. And again, uh, Mr. Kojo Ouso Ajiman has also been appointed as the Deputy Minister Designate for Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources. So these are the two new appointments that His Excellency President John Evans Sutter Mills made today. And then uh, we wish to congratulate uh, Honorable uh, uh, Kojo Ouso Ajiman and Anthony Jimbibi for the defeat. Yeah, back to you, Mustafa. You are with Maslok. Mm. I mean, for the past three years that you took over from Maslok, uh, what difference have been made so far uh, 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 at, at, at your place? Well, thank you very much. You mm. know, Maslok was set up in 2006. Okay. And you realized that 50 million initial capital was injected in Maslok. Mm. 50 million dollars. 50 million dollars. 50 million dollars. That was around about 850 billion you know, wow, OCD. That's, that's huge money. That's huge money. Yeah. Um, when we came into office in 2009, what we met was something less than 3 million Ghana cities. Wow. I mean, the whole money virtually gone. Mm. Um, realized that most of the disbursement that were done were done in 2008, just oh. around the election, election period. Okay. And so more monies were given, and one testimony realized was that, oh, these are end of service benefits, mm. or these are campaign monies by mm. the MPs, mm. so take it for free. Okay. You don't pay. And one, one MP that came and uh, strong, strong uh, embarrassment by his people. And mm -hmm. of course, the police was the uh, Obwasi MP, the current Obwasi, and I think some or something, any or so. Okay. Uh, he had to go and promise his people prior to the primaries in 2008 that they should vote for him. He's going to get them loans and from his own this thing. And apparently, he went to co connive with one of our mass lock officials mm -hmm. then. And then they gave out loans just free without any recourse to reclaim of the money. Wow. They give the monies out. And so when we came and we started hunting for the people, mm -hmm. then they told us that, oh, our MP told us that at the, at the eve of the election, that uh, these monies are free monies. I mean, wow. it was something from his pocket that he was giving to us. Wow. And then the MP now was running Hertha Scatter. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to appear before them because they were chased for the loans. Mm -hmm. And this is how most of these things went on. And virtually the monies just went Down out. Dream. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we came put structures in place, mm -hmm. systems in place. In the past, you realized that there were no forms filled. Some mm -hmm. of the forms that were filled, wrong addresses. You can't trace just, them. You can't trace the guarantors. Mm -hmm. Just somebody like, a, excuse me to say, a road by person can come and guarantee for you to get a loan. Okay. So there's no, your picture, the picture that is on the form is different from the, pe the, pe the person who took the loan. Wow. You know <laughs> These are some of the things that <laughs> we saw. And so Maslock was just brought down on its knees okay. and realized that it was a place, a center, uh, to be able to use, dissipate the, 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 the resource of the state in terms of achieving their personal scores, not the nation's, mm. you know, So what, uh, what, what did we do differently? What we did differently was to come and, as it were, decentralize mass law mm -hmm. to the various regions. Okay. We had to recruit new people, go through the system. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go... You Are get, they just people that you recruited or you, 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 you focused on their competence? Competence was the key word. And okay. we realized that we had a lot of bashing from some of our DCs and MPs who were saying that, oh, in the past, under the MPP, it was done this way and said, that is why we voted for a change. Exactly. We so. didn't come for an exchange. The Not president said, I'm putting in money and I want, re I mean, I want to see benefits out of these monies I'm mm. putting in. I want mm. to see some kind of profits out of these monies I'm mm. putting in. Mm. And so we realized that we totally changed the whole I mean, scenario. Mm. The people who came went through exams. They were picked. The best out of the lot were picked, mm. sent to the various regions to help man the offices, mm. loans that are going to be given. You have your form to fill. If you, were, you, I mean, if you come and then fill a form without a good guarantor, mm. a guarantor should be somebody who is in the working class, whether okay. a teacher, a doctor, but somebody, somebody who, who is earning a regular income. Income, income okay. who should be able to guarantee for you. Okay. I mean, that's an individual loan, but if you're in a group, then that's quite a, di a, a different ball game because okay. you have this group solidarity mm. guarantee mm. amongst yourself so that in the event that if you're in a group and one person doesn't pay, mm -hmm. all somebody of you contribute can cover to yes, pay for pay. the person. But yeah. individually, you need to come with a guarantor. A guarantor, we know that the pay slip is being paid well. And of course, if it's not able to pay, we then go to Control Accountant General or mm. go to wherever you're working, deduct on source. So all these systems and checks, that's what gives us, now we are around 85% recovery rate. Wow. From the years, in since three years. years? In three years. Okay. And the money to disperse so far are more than 50, 60 billion, mm. as we speak to mm. you. And even years. in the budgets, in the 2012 budgets, the, the yes, government is giving million, you 35 million, million. cities. That's, and that is that's so the money. confidence that yeah. we had, because yeah. what we've put out there, we mm. were able to recover. Mm. And of course, the, the, the money is just revolving I within. And so we're trying to identify projects. Mm. You go to the Santa region, we realize that, of course, shoe factory, mm. uh, shoe factory making is quite a key thing. Okay. Baskets, you know, weaving. Yeah. We're identifying projects region by region. Okay. So much loans. So the mm. tune of about 45,000 individuals have received loans. Not to talk 45, about... 45,000 individuals. Individuals. Ghanaians. Yes, Ghanaians. Okay. So far within the three years. Mm. So realize that if you are manning maybe a barbering saloon, mm. uh, you realize that maybe you may pick one or two people to assist you in okay. that barbering saloon, mm. if not, not alone. And you realize that if somebody is also into the hairdressing saloon, 
how many individuals the person will be picking to employ. Mm. So you can multiply this number wow. by the number of people who wow. might have been held by Maslow indirectly. Anyway, indirectly. we've been joined by Samuel Judge, who is a member of the government communication team, to help us in the discussion of the overview of the Better Ghana Agenda, the third national policy fair, and the ongoing biometric registration exercise. And I believe that you out there watching us have, have gone to register. Uh, uh, His Excellency President Kufo also registered. And then the MPP flag bearer also registered today, I'm informed. Yeah, yeah. So I believe that all of us out there are also taking steps to go to register. Getting straight to you, Samuel Judge. The achievements of the Better Ghana, the overview of the Better Ghana agenda under the transport ministry or under the transport sector. What good stories can you tell us that have been chalked up so far? Felix, a very good morning. Uh, good evening mm -hmm. to our, our viewers and to yourself and uh, Mustafa. Good. Yeah. It's good to be back here. Mm. When you talk about the Green Book mm. and the Better Ghana government achievement, I want to look at the area of transport. Okay. I look. I want to look at um, public transport to mm. start with. Mm. That is page twenty nine. Page twenty nine of, of, of the of, of, the, of the Green Book. Okay. Yes. You'd realize that the Metro Mass Transport Company, mm. which was started by the Kufu administration, mm. was. On, a, on the verge of collapse when mm. we took over this government the in old, 2009. They owed 400,000 Ghana cities, mm. 4 billion. Mm. 4 billion cities. In, in the words of IC Quay, the money is big, oh. <laughs> oh P, 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 mm. and 9. Mm. 4 billion. 4 billion okay. was owed to Goyle. For fuel. For fuel. Yeah. And this is, this is something which was cleared in the space of under three years. Okay. Under prudent management of the board that was put in and management of Metro Mass Transit Bus. Mm. Most of the buses that were gotten had also broken down mm, due I to remember. poor maintenance culture. Mm, until they did buses? Exactly. Yeah. Today, 150 Metro Mass buses have been added. Mm. And this is out of a new fleet of 350. Okay. So we're expecting another 200 buses mm. before the end of this year. Okay. To improve upon the public My sector goodness, what, a, what else is a better Ghana agenda? Okay. What else would you call a better Ghana? Mm. The Metro Mass company is constructing new... Uh, 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 terminals, okay, okay, mm -hmm. in places like Kumasi, mm -hmm. in Ho, in mm -hmm. Tamale, in Bogotanga. When you talk, about a, Tanga, in when you talk about a terminal, what exactly is a terminal? A terminal is a is a, is a comfortable place mm -hmm. where human beings, mm -hmm. Ghanaian human beings, mm -hmm. Ghanaian citizens, mm -hmm. are allowed to go and sit mm -hmm. and wait and board their buses. Oh, okay. Devoid of being bitten by the harsh sun and being bitten by rain. Okay, so what we call a, a, a bus stop, bus, or a bus stop. station. Yes, but yes, but this is mm -hmm. you see you see it's when an you advanced go bus an station. advanced bus station, I get a, point. a beautiful one. Okay. Those who have traveled outside the country mm. would, would tell you what, what kind of bus stations they see outside. Okay. Those are the kind of terminals mm. that we are building. That's why it's not called a bus station. Okay. It's called a, a terminal. terminal. Okay, I get a point. I get a point. Okay. Moving into aviation. Mm. In 2009, mm. or when we took over government. No, but before you even go into, into yeah. the, the aviation sector, has, has, uh, with, with the, the new fleet of buses that you mentioned, yes. have we created some new routes? Or how oh, are people going to be benefiting? 20 new routes. Oh, okay. 20 new routes. When okay. you have additional 350 buses coming in, mm. obviously new routes are being opened. Okay. We have new routes like uh, uh, Samri Boy. Samri Boy, okay. Yeah, Samri Boy. You have Kete Krachi, mm. you have Mehame, you have Unsarao, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Akotombra, Sankore, Dambai. These mm. are new routes that are being opened. Okay. You understand? So and you so mean people from these areas are going to travel for they less? They are all going to enjoy the Better Ghana agenda. Mm. 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 You understand mm. me? Mm. Now, when you go into the aviation subsector, okay. in 2009, mm. when we took over government, there were 16 international airlines flying into the country. 16? 16. 16. One six. One six. Okay. Under the astute management, mm. the Kotoka International Airport won for the first time in its history mm. the best airport in the, on the entire continent. Oh, that's unprecedented. Yes, it's unprecedented. Okay. And, and, and we had Mrs. Dorin Osufianko mm. going to Mali to receive that award. Okay. okay? I, I, yeah, I remember You, you remember that? Yeah. That was just last year. Yeah. And today, as mm. we speak, we have 32 airlines, international mm -hmm. airlines, okay. flying out of Ghana. 32. We have doubled the number in less than four years, so in from, three from, years. From, from 16 to 32. And, and that is not the end of it. Mm. There are actually 10 international airlines of international repute, mm -hmm. which have been told, hold on, we oh, are expanding so they, our they, airport. They, they, they've actually applied? They have applied. To come? They have met all the criteria, mm. but we've told them, look, relax. You don't have space. R relax. And that is why the Better Ghana government agenda, mm. the Better Ghana agenda of President Mills, mm. has, has not just sat back and said, oh, we're, we're happy people are trying to, to patronize us. No. Mm. We have built... 
three new additional boarding gates at the, at, at at the, the airport. At the, at the to bring, yes, to bring to bring the boarding gates to five. Okay. Because at times you realize that flights take off late yeah. simply because yeah. they have to use the same boarding gates. I remember, over I remember and over. at one time uh, uh, Delta and then uh, South Africa Airlines had to share exactly. a common share boarding a common, gate. A common and boarding it's quite gate. uncomfortable. Yes. And in addition to this, to ensure that these airlines, because mm. many of these airlines, international mm. airlines, do not do same day return flights. Okay. They, 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 they stay overnight mm, and, and come fly back. the following day. Yeah. Okay. And so to, to do this, we are we are building new parking aprons mm -hmm. and, and a new taxiway okay. is under construction okay. to allow additional eight parking spaces mm. for wide bodied aircraft, the Boeing 737, 700, yeah, yeah, and yeah. The, the jumbo jets. So we'll those be having cargo, cargo, My brother, uh, cargo li liners coming cargo in. Cargo liners coming mm -hmm. in. Ten, the 10 new additional airlines that want to come in would have enough place to load board mm. their passengers. But how does this benefit the, the, the domestic investor in the aviation sector? You know, you know, I always say that, look, people say, how do you marry this to people? Mm. If you take this green book, mm -hmm. everything is interconnected. Exactly the so. running of a state is interconnected. Exactly when so. you look at this kind of influx of international airlines mm. is simply because people are coming into Ghana. And when people are coming into Ghana, they're not coming here just for tourism. Mm. They're also coming in for investment. Mm. And that is why when you go to uh, 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 page, from, from page, page uh, eight, mm -hmm. from page eight to page 11, mm -hmm. you look at the free zones companies okay. which have come in. Mm. These are people who came in on this airline. Mm. In three years. In three years. Okay. In three years, they have brought in, that's just free zone alone, mm -hmm. in three years, from mm. January 2009, mm. have brought in 360 million, mm. 753,000, mm. Nine dollars and forty six cents, mm. and this has created nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five direct jobs for the people, for the people of Ghana. Okay, for the people of okay. Ghana. I remember when I went to the to the to the Kumasi te, uh, to the Kumasi airport. Sure, a flight from uh, Kumasi to the Sunyani Sunyani airport now is is about forty cities. Exactly. Some some you pay thirty five Ghana. You, you were traveling to Kumasi, and when you said I was going to go by air, mm. Amtrak Air, then. Mm. That, that, that's domestic. Mm. We said I was going to Kumasi by everybody saw you as Osikeni. Yeah. Because then you had to cough out about 400. Yeah, but now you was, have Which was about, about, about 700, 800 percent of yeah. what you pay by yeah. road. Yeah. Yeah. Today, students. You have students flying for 99 Ghana cities. And you see, the exciting thing about this whole thing <laughs> is that you can even have a doctor move from Kumasi on an emergency to Accra Chakra. to, 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 to save a life. Are, there are and, and numerous get back Kumasi flights in flying less than round the hours. clock. Okay. And Ghana has become the international transit hub mm. for all international, most okay. of the international you hold the Let me get back to Mustafa. Mm. In terms of industry, in terms of employment, in terms of the, the value of life of the people, how have we moved on under the Better Ghana Agenda? Well, you quite remember last year, I think last two years, when the first phase, uh, not the first phase, but when the Ministry of Information came mm. out with the figure that over 1.5 million jobs have been, been created. created. Um, we had our brothers on the other side uh, <laughs> ranting and raving yeah, all over the organization. Where are the jobs? Are the jobs? Yeah. And I was saying that it's quite simple. Mm. I mean, if you look at what we have done, mm. it's unprecedented. Good. You take the youth in Agric, mm -hmm. the number of jobs created. Mm -hmm. How many? We have 80,132 individuals. 80,000 80, individuals. Individuals. 132. Okay. Okay. Add the 132, the two is even important. Okay. Yes. Less than. We have 10,000 individuals involved in LESDEP as we speak now. Uh, is it the LESDEP that when you graduate, they give you equipment, they give Everything you money for you to go set up yourself? To and set up. after setting you up, mm. it means the number of people that are also going to help you on the farm or wherever you are going to operate from. Mm. Can you imagine that these people have not been included in this? Oh, so I see. Jobs. Okay. So, indirect jobs. Okay, let's move. You understand me? You talk about youth in rural maintenance. We've seen them. Yeah, 10,000. Yeah. Is that right? You mm. understand me? Mm. You talk about the oil and gas sector, mm -hmm. 3,500 individuals in that sector alone. I see. Talk about the Echo Brigade. Mm. 10,000 individuals in there. I'm, no, I'm, I'm mean, sure that is, that is viewers where are now calculating with a calculator. Yeah, that's where, the, where, that is where the excitement comes right. in. Mm -hmm. You know this year, mm -hmm. uniquely, mm -hmm. uniquely, in fact, unprecedentedly, yeah. we've not heard of any case, a single case of anybody drowning during the Easter celebration. Obviously. Yeah, because you know. the Echo Brigade it. guys I'm were sure on sea. If, if it had happened, <laughs> yeah. we would have seen the general secretary exactly of the so. guy coming out saying that, as he said last year, yeah. during Easter there was yeah. no rain. He would yeah. have said the same thing. When yeah. it rained during this Easter, yeah. he never said anything. Yeah. He would it, have gone to it, say it, that, of it, course, it, there was yeah. some kind so, of... So I think we, we, it, it's, it's a great just, achievement. Just move on. I'm sure people or readers will definitely, or viewers will definitely get a book. Just go to NYEP. How many people? 100,000 people. Okay. How many did you come and meet? Some less than at least 60,000. And now it's been increased to 100,000 within three years. Yes. Mm. You talk about the police service, 4,000 recruits, new people okay. in the police service. 
talk about the other security services, 5,800, and mm -hmm. they could verify them from all the, I mean, mm -hmm. security services. Mm -hmm. Go to the human resource aspect of the mm -hmm. police service, the prison service, the gun armed forces. Mm -hmm. Go and check the records of the number of people that have been recruited. Mm -hmm. Go and check the national food buffer stock. How many people? 5,000 people, direct mm -hmm. and indirect. And that has even helped us to, to stabilize inflation I'm telling for you. all this while. So we could go and when you calculate all these things, we're talking about 1,734,978 people. Okay. That being that they're employed. Don't employ it. Okay. If right. they want to look at the industries, mm. we could go on and say the industries, as I said, okay. just go and see. Beginning April 16th to 21st, 2012, that is beginning from Monday, at the Accra International Conference Center. Time, 8 in the morning till 5 p.m. each day, that comes the third national policy fair, where there will be an exhibition of policies, projects, and activities of the ministries, departments, and agencies at the ongoing policy fair. And then the theme of the policy fair is building together in a better Ghana. Building together in a better Ghana. And yet at the policy fair, what is exciting about the policy fair itself is that along the side, there are dialogue sections where uh, we bring in people who are well versed in the various subject areas to discuss policies of government and also to make inputs and suggestions. And then we will discuss that as a nation. Coming to you, uh, Sam, what, 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 what will be for you, what will be the highlights or what will be the relevance of this year's uh, the third national policy fair? You see, I, I think the policy fair mm. is going to be yet another opportunity for Ghanaians to ac uh, assess mm. the, the, the Better Ghana agenda. Okay. Because what's going to be on display at the policy fair is going to be the, the works and achievements mm. of government mm. over the past three years mm. through its MMDA. Okay, so individually they're going to present to the they're people They're going to do presentations what happens to the people. And all that. People can go there, ask questions, and mm. understand the workings of the state institutions okay. and make their decisions. Okay. Okay? What I'm going to urge every government institution that will be present there mm. is to do a comparative analysis mm -hmm. and make it available mm. to people who come there. Okay. Do a comparative analysis of where they stood as institutions mm -hmm. in 2008, and as where they December stand today. 2008, mm. and where they stand today. Okay. That is a must mm. for all institutions who are there. Okay. So that Ghanaians will be in a better position mm. to say the NDC has taken us forward mm. or has sent us back. Okay. And I know they'll make the positive declaration that they have sent us forward. Okay, let me get to Mustafa. Yeah, Mustafa, for you, the policy fair. Maslok, what are you going to present to the people at the well, policy well, fair? Well, of course, of course. We have some products that we need to show to the people of okay. Ghana, of course, from the monies that have been made available to us, and okay. maybe to show people um, how they can intend to apply okay. with, I mean, to benefit from our projects mm. and uh, our money. So, but I think that the highlight of this uh, year's own had to touch with, as I said, uh, the economic gains mm. to transform the society. Okay. I realized that um, the speakers that uh, we are hearing that are going to be at the forum, including mm. Yao Graham, mm. Dr. Kobna Dufour, okay. excellent minister. Mm. Uh, yeah, we have some actors like John Domelo and okay. then um, oh, some reverend fathers to be able to be part of it. Mm. It tells you that we're trying to broaden the whole horizon in terms of getting people to come and understand exactly what, what governance what, what, what is, is bringing governance to the footsteps of our people. Mm. Come and ask questions, come mm. and interact with the ministries, departments, and agencies. Ministers, last year it was quite, I mean, exciting where you saw ministers standing by their centers, asking, I mean, answering questions to the public. It tells you that really, really, mm. we are in to give transparency and accountability to the people of okay, Ghana. Okay. That is what the president okay. says. And, and, and we are also working hard uh, with, 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 with the management of Multi TV mm. and all the technical crew that come. Tuesday, uh, we bring you majority caucus from the venue of the third national policy fair, which is the Accra International Conference Center, so that we can bring we can bring Malta TV to the center and bring the center to Malta TV. So our mm -hmm. viewers out there, you watch out for what is happening at the at the at the policy fair, and we're hoping that we will get the Minister of Information himself, Honourable Fred Bafo, to be with us on Tuesday to discuss whatever is happening at the ongoing policy fair. Back what, to you, what, what, John. One last we, thing about the okay. policy fair is that uh, viewers should note that they can follow the policy fair mm. on the policy fair's Facebook page, okay. which will be the Ghana Policy Fair okay. 2012. Okay. It was active last year. Yeah, it will be yeah, reactivated again yeah. for this year. Mm. There's also going to be a live streaming of. for those who would not be able to watch live on GTV. Mm -hmm. They can watch behind their lap on, on their computers and laptops mm. on www.ghanapolicyfair.com. Dot com. Okay, okay, especially for those of us who are watching on www.multitv world for its flash. Exactly. Dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Yes, so they, they, they should just go to www.ghanapolicyfair.com. Mm. Mm. All the, the entire policy fair will be streamed live. The sessions, the dialogue sessions will be streamed live. Mm. If they have questions mm. for the speakers, they can actually 
text send in their questions okay. via the Facebook page. Okay, and, and the speakers yes, the speakers will the respond yeah. to them live. Okay, and so Most it's an far, interactive. The platform. ongoing biometric registration exercise. His Excellency the President has expressed uh, uh, mm, reservations or, about uh, the growing tension and the, the growing violence at some of the polling centers. I mean, is that a way to go? Well, I think that we thank His Excellency for making that comment, mm. and because he needed to make this comment at this time mm. because of. Uh, some statements that have been made by our opponents mm. um, in trying to use or put into practice what they are preaching mm. already. You know, they are kind of people who preach virtue and practice vice. Yeah, exactly. And so. the they are trying to put into test. I'm mm. sure this is a mock exam for them mm. prior to the general election. Well, we, is that where the way to go? The all die, be die syndrome mm. and at all costs and the Afghanistan statements and everything that they have to do to be able to put fear into the people mm. has to start from now. Mm. And that is why the president has come out strongly to say that we must protect the peace and stability of this country. Mm. Anybody mm. found trying to destabilize this country will be dealt with, not mm. only by our forces, by special forces. In fact, today, it's important. today at Agona Inkum, uh, mm. the community, a 22-year-old, uh, uh, a young man, mm. was jailed for 14 days for attempting to register twice. So, of course. I mean, I mean, by the figures that we are having, how mm. many people? We are told that the multiple registration that so far mm. has increased from 600 to 2,000 2, individuals. As we speak that, now. That, that is, that and that's is huge. News, yeah. I mean, sometimes you may fall them. You know why? Sometimes I try to check out and, and I saw that when you go in to register, mm. one thing is that when you go in, maybe your age was changed mm -hmm. on the card. Mm. Probably you may want to move to another center when the ink has not even been put on your finger. Mm. You want to move to another center to but be able to ask they have they forgot biometric features. Very well. Some of these things happen not because it's out of ignorance. Okay. Like, oh, I saw that my name wasn't um, correctly spelled. Mm. So let me change it. I wouldn't go back to that center because they will not allow me. Let mm. me go here and then change my name and get another card. So when it goes into the data system mm. at the EC, then they see that these are double registrations. Mm. Some, of course, for some kind of nefarious or ill intent, I mean, uh, Ill, Ill motives, mm. they want to do some of this registration. But mm. of course, that is why I'm happy mm. that this registration exercise or biometric registration has come to cleanse that death. That we saw system. the 120% mm. registration. I, 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 I mean, saw 134%. 160 in Manchester. Oh, goodness. I mean, which in the Manchester, in South Korea, in China, where you want to see they, this they, part they, of they figures. That, yeah. And I'm sure, the, I mean, the international community are watching, mm. they saw the figures mm. that not even the U.S., not even China, not even Korea, mm. the first in the history of the world, mm. Ghana has produced an election result with where 120%, 160% mm. in the stronghold of our opposition people. Okay. What does it tell you? Okay. But let me just come to say yeah. that, of course, in terms of this violence, what are we seeing? Mm -hmm. We saw what happened in Ududio. Yeah. Uh, candidate Neil Antipano has come to condemn it. Mm. A, a, a parliamentary aspirant in Ablik Masav has moved here. She said she doesn't need a visa to go there. You've gone there, mm. go and monitor. What did she do mm. that necessitated the public or some people to come and harass her? Mm. Let me just give you a story. Just okay. today or yesterday. I mean, yeah. today, I'm sure it's in uh, this Thursday, April 12. Okay. Let me read a quote to you. I mean, registration official remained in custody. No but this is something to do with Bronga Hapo region. Okay. Registration process at Asukesi mm -hmm. halted. He said, the biometric registration process at yeah, the Asukese, newspaper. That's the daily graphic of daily today. Daily graphic of today, okay. At Asukese CMB shed at Europa Farms in the Tando South Continent, where Hanabisu is, mm -hmm. was halted for almost seven hours last Tuesday. Wow. Following a disruption by the constituency chairman of the new Patriarchy Party, mm -hmm. that's Mr. Asari Entry. Mr. Entry in the company of some party activity was at the registration center to prevent some people from registering, with the simple reason that those involved were settler northern farmers. Mm who had been working at Europa Farms for the past eight years mm. and that they were not from the place and were not Ghanaians. This is MPP for you. The aliens comply other things they are bringing. Mm. The same thing they are telling us that we are preventing people from Odojo from registering because mm. uh, we are saying that they are not guns, which of course I don't think that Neil Antel somebody is saying that. Mm. We're saying that of course if you don't have your business there mm. or you don't have your house number where people go behind, write house numbers for people to give it to mm. their, their, their traders to come. I thought this is an MPP person. They have mentality. never forgot about the syndrome of what happened in Ilias Comply order in those days mm. where they had to beat people, pregnant women mm. and even imams who were praying in the mocks mm. were shot dead to be able to move them out of this country. Mm. That is the same thing. That is the MPP for you. Mm. They just want division. They just want to show you that yes they apart from mm. them there's nobody who can mm. rule this country mm. and they're manifesting this they preach virtue that is what they're saying in mm. Brogafu mm. that northerners they are not supposed to come and vote internal south mm. the MPP parliamentary the MP there that's internal south mm. just on Sunday was at the Easter church praying to people for <laughs> peace on Monday physically mm. blows that is an MPP for, uh, I mean a honorable member mm. fighting in the midst of people preventing people physically from I mean Samuel George registering. the president has asked that the violence should stop the violence should cease on the other hand, the MPP is saying that they are ready to defend themselves, they will protect themselves, they will, they will deal with the police. At the Manchagona rally, even the youth organizer said that the MPP people should lynch the police. Is it the shadows of what, 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 what happened in the statements that they've been making? Well, I, I do not 
wish to view this as shadows. Mm. I see this as actually the plan, the grand scheme. Mm. They are they're putting the grand scheme to create chaos in this country mm. into play. If you remember, about three weeks ago, uh, the national chairman of the NPP, mm. Jacob Bichibi Lamte, mm. wrote some so-called letter, so yeah. open letter to the mm. president, mm. decrying violence and mm. saying there should be no violence mm. in this country. Well, I wish he would have been able to rein in his own his own own party members, mm. his his national his his his, his uh, parliamentary candidate Fabri Kuma South mm. Eslawusu, who walked into another constituency with a bullhorn mm. and was inciting people, mm. who, who went there with Abu Jinapo mm. and was peddling lies. Mm. He would have been able to rein in. We're just being told about the yeah. NPP chairman in yeah. time. Yeah. We've seen what happened at Asori Dainhu in Ablekuma South. Yeah. And there's where some people were beating. in the region. You I understand? Was myself. And, I saw and, some and of what the is going well. on in the Ashanti yeah. region? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, even in the Volta region, mm. you have members of the, of the NPP mm. just challenging mm. anybody who... Mm. They everybody. Mm. They just challenge people to disenfranchise mm. people. Okay? At the end of the day, the NDC is committed to peace. Exactly. I so. believe that the, the, the general secretary of the party mm. on the same network, on PM Express, yeah. about, about four days ago or three days ago, mm. made that point clear that the NDC is committed to the peace process. Exactly. The NDC believes in the police service of this country. Mm. We believe that they have worked consistently since mm. 1992 mm. with the Electoral Commission to ensure that this election, the election of this country has been peaceful, it has been free, it has been fair, with few exemptions, like mm. the 2004 election, mm. where there was a stolen verdict, which we are all aware of. Mm. Okay? But then, for us, what we are saying is we trust the IGP. Okay. Inspector General of Police, mm. State, Paul Tewi. He, he would not resign. Mm. He has no business resigning. And if he resigns, who are they going to who, appoint? If he resigns, mm. who, who should he right appoint? appoint? Mm. When... when when Patrick Echampo uh, sat there as and IGP and, 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 and people charged. were throwing, throwing things around yeah, in this country, what mm. did they do? Mm. Did they call for his res resignation? Mm. When you have, when you have, you have, you have uh, 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 an ACP, mm. an assistant commissioner of police, mm. deciding to overstep his bounds mm. and go as far as fiscally malhandling mm. a, a, minister, a, a minister of minister. state, mm. yeah. and, you, and, and, and the IGP says that look, that was un unprofessional mm. uh, 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 action, and, and you say that the IGP has aired. Mm. You have a, a, a district commander of police, DSP Kosifori, mm. place state money, mm. taxpayers' money, place a bounty on somebody's head without, without recourse to his mm. own mm. IGP, mm. and when he has privileged conversation with his IGP, he goes and sits on a radio station and speaks about that it. So that and is a the breach of says, command and breach of, he, look, breach of trust. The IGP does not even have the power to order a, to give a shoot and kill order. Mm. He does not. Mm. And so how is DSP Kosifori to give a shoot and kill order? Mm. And when he's called to order, you say that the IGP is being biased. Look, at Nanado Dankwa Kufuado mm. today went to register and, and, and said the president should walk his talk yeah. with, 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 with his colleague. But Kufuado has president been the most is, inconsistent look, politician look, Ghana had ever produced. You, you, you say all oh, die be die. Mm. You say at all costs. Mm. And then at the same time, you say you, are pretty, you, you, want, you, want, you want us Where to have a violence free, free elections. Mm. He's speaking from both sides of his mouth. Mm. And for me, this is a man who does not know what he's about. Okay. Back to Mustafa before we expect our calls. On Sada. On Sada, well, the line's uh, to call now 0302-211-701 or 0302-211-702. On Sada, Mustafa, where, what has been done so far on Sada? Well, with all the talks and the uh, criticisms by some people who call them the youth, uh, what's the name? The Northern Youth, youth, uh, youth something, something, something. Patriots or Youth yeah. Elephants yeah. of the MPP who yeah. don't seem to know exactly what they're doing, just being pushed by their... their, their, their political leaders to go and just speak mm. without any kind of, as it were, uh, having the facts on the ground. Mm. I can say for a fact, and if you watch the daily graphic of last week or last two weeks, I believe on yeah. Saturday or Friday, yeah. I realized that $100 million had been put into SADA. Okay, that is part the of the first, seed money. The seed money. In addition to the $30 million and the $25 million, million, million that, that I would listen. You okay. could see in the supplementary uh, budget of last year, I think 2011, mm. I realized that government, as it were, put... Uh, an amount of five million, you mm -hmm. know, Ghana cities into mm -hmm. Sada mm -hmm. just for the setting up and all those things. Yeah. Another additional hundred million dollars mm -hmm. is going to be given to Sada by June this year, as okay. we speak. Okay. You understand me? Not that alone. Mm -hmm. You realize that the investors from Brazil have come into town, mm -hmm. trying to, as it were, figure out with some investors to be able to see how best they could get to work around okay. uh, to export, you know, uh, uh, this kind of share not factory, uh, factory that has been established so far. Mm. Um, at Bupe. You, at Bupe, yeah. I mean, which is going to be commissioned soon yeah. by the vice president. Um, so for us, when we pledge or we promise, mm. we want to deliver. Okay. Well, what we said in the manifesto that, of course, we're going to start it urgently or so about, mm. this is the time that mm. we fought. We wouldn't want to go and then, as it were, mm. we're doing that Northern Development Fund, which, of course, no person was put in there to mm. be able to develop the Northern region. Mm. They just had to use Ali Mahama for a face, 
lift it to be able to say we are coming to give you money, but nothing was done with the Northern Development okay. Fund or MPP. Okay. We have come, we've delivered hundred million dollars have been put in place. Okay, I have Another a first caller. Badge, 100 million dollars is okay, being I have a prepared. first caller. Hello, Awal. Hello. Yeah, good evening, Awal. Yeah, good evening. Please, I just have a comment to make. Okay. Uh, yesterday, I heard one of Edison, Titus Glover, making a comment about the registration. I think uh, we should focus on what has been said on the program and what is under discussion here. Ah, okay. Okay. So it's on, on the Green Book. Uh, okay, yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah, we, we have not said much, mm. but Ghanaians will compare President Mill's three years of administration to that of President Kufo. Okay, all right. Because okay. as we know, for their first four years, they mm. achieved nothing, okay. absolutely nothing. Okay. But President Mills, within a short period of three years, mm. has done what nobody expected. Okay, thank you so very there's much. there's no need. I, some of us can even say there's no need campaigning. Okay, <laughs> but surely we need to campaign. Thank you very much, Awal, for the intervention. Let me pick Jerome for a flower, my own a flower. Hello, Jerome. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Jerome. Yeah, this is Jerome from Aflau. Okay. Uh, the only I only want to pass some information through your channel. Okay. There is there is a dad, there is an MPP guy here called Petty. Mm -hmm. He's removing. Okay. Is it the same Petty? Uh, is it the same Petty on Facebook? I can't tell. Okay. I don't know. He lives in Aflau here. Okay. I mean he has been he, he has been preventing people from uh, our area not to wear it because he was he was claiming they were from Togo. Okay. Whereby, my name is Jerome Kayo. Okay. Really? I have a relative in, uh, in Togo. Mm. We have we have Bedi families. They're also from Togo. Mm. But, but, but they are Ghanaian. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think what we can uh, do is that you can you can report the the, the 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 incidents to the police and allow the police to investigate the matter. Okay, hello. Okay, okay, thank you. We have Yakubu on the line. Hello, Yakubu. Yeah. Um. Thank you very much for mm -hmm. your program. Okay. Um. I don't want to give a contribution to the. Okay. Um. I think I uh, I was. Colleagues at the other side of the device um, at times do make money. Mm. In that, they are willing to compare what they actually achieved during their first uh, three, uh, four years. They are, they, I mean, the first. Uh, the first term? Of their office. Okay. To our three years mm. in office. Mm. If they had uh, actually done that, they would have known that. Actually, they failed worthily okay. during the first year. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, they've been talking about monuments. Mm. Uh, the Mills administration has done a lot, mm. and they have to appreciate that. Okay. This time along, they are running away from those facts. Okay. I'd rather say that uh, other governments have put in place uh, schools, okay. rules, and all that. Okay, thank yes, you, Jerome. Have... Okay, thank you very much, Jerome. Let me pick Haruna. Hello, Haruna. Hello. Yeah, good evening, Haruna. You're live on Majority Caucus. Good evening. Good evening. Mm. I'm seeing Haruna in the Norwegian Karga district to track the side. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you can't compare wrong to correct. Mm -hmm. Because uh, even we in the Norwegian Kufu, eight years, mm. had nothing at Norwegian apart from violence everywhere. Mm. But this year, or let me tell, uh, at the next three years, mm. we saw difference. Okay. Like rules, mm. uh, uh, electricity, mm. water. Mm. I can mention all that. We proceed, we proceed. And we hope that, but inshallah, okay. uh, coming to uh, December 7th, mm. I can come up. Okay, have you, have you registered? If I, if I may ask, have you registered? Yes, yes. Okay. We have okay. All right. Yes. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Thank okay. You. Correct. Thank you very much. Let me pick Abdul Thank Karim you. from the Savlugu uh, district. Hello, Abdul. Uh, yes, please. Good yeah. evening. Yeah. Good evening, Abdul, and welcome to Majority Caucus. In fact, it is such that it's sympathetic mm. to hear you people sitting there with this kind of comments you are making. Mm. Even if you look at yourself, you can realize that you don't have confidence in yourself. Any time you people say that, mm. you always vibrate so much. Mm. What does it know what you people are always talking about? Okay. Especially okay. when you are comparing yourself mm -hmm. to the past administration. I can't compare myself. Nation, I can't you don't do anything to Abdul. You only Abdul. you only do is propaganda. Hello, Abdul. I bet you. Hello, Hello? Abdul. Hello? Hello, Abdul. 
I'm saying that what the I'm, NDC you only do, especially you people, when you are sitting in that issue, mm. it's only propaganda. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Abdul. And then we appreciate your call. And Abdul was our last caller. And then I always to thank all the callers who, who, who called into the program. If you want to react to I, any I, of let the... Me just, let me just make a point to Abdul, yeah. my good brother in the north, from the northern side. Okay. I believe he comes from me. You should just go and take the book, mm. the green book. Yeah, if he doesn't have a copy, Page he, can, 40, he can download one, one on yes, www.mybetterganadot.com. I just want to show to the screen the okay. people of Ghana to see mm. the pictures mm. of the projects that we've been undertaking. Mm. That will let his, he himself mm. or maybe his children or mm. his brothers and sisters not to move from a distance of about 18 kilometers mm. from one home to another school mm. to be able to get just education. Okay. These are things that we've put in place in the mm. northern sector. Mm. It's from the Upper East to you open the pages and you will see mm. the number of projects that have been put in the Upper East region mm. and the Upper West region. Okay. Those days when some of us were in the Upper East region, we were mm. drinking water with donkeys. Mm. When, when Rollins came, he had to put in balls and okay. today we are proud okay. universities and the teaching hospitals are now being rehabilitated for mm. them mm. so that he can be able to provide. he should show us okay. what his excuse me to say the former mm. vice president mm. did for the people of northern okay. region okay. that will run that will okay. give yes, propaganda someone, if you want to if you want to add any comments well for me i just want to look at what government has done mm. for our security services okay because for me the security services of ghana are mm. key okay. to the continued peace and stability yeah, of this country so. especially going into election 2012 mm. Ghana has remained the safest country mm. on the African continent. Okay. Thanks to the good work of our police service, thanks to the good work of the military. Mm. The Atamil's government has made sure that we have provided for the first time in this part, the only other country mm. that has the facility the Ghana police service has mm. is the South African police service. Which facility is that? That, that is a, de a state of the art forensic okay. lab. Forensics. A forensic lab which is able to do document analysis, it's able to do chemical examination, photography mm. examination, ballistics test, mm. and DNA testing. Okay. It's all done here. Okay. And so now you have, you have case dockets being brought from Nigeria, mm. Ivory, Ivory Coast, from as far as even Senegal, mm. and even as far as Morocco. Mm -hmm. to Ghana, okay. to the Ghana Police Service for testing in our DNA lab. It's okay. the first, it's the second, it's the first of its kind in West Africa mm. and the second on the African Just continent. like the four MRI machines, the six, actually you know, the six, six MRI, MRI machines. machines. You know, when you look at, when you look at the, at the immigration service, mm. for the first time, the Ghana Immigration Service is going to have the same thing mm -hmm. that the U.S. Border Guard has. Okay. It is called a Digital Border Surveillance System, okay. which uses satellite imagery mm. to protect our, our territorial okay. integrity. Okay, so by the time anybody moves into anybody our territory. trying to move into the territory, okay. they I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess if we, if we had had that facility, the 77 passes of cocaine that we, vanished. We would not have vanished. Okay, okay. Right. You look at the military, mm. sorry, you look at the military mm. and you realize that, are you aware mm. that our gallant men and women, mm. when they die in battle mm. under the NPP, their widows were paid a flat rate of 30 Ghana cities, 300,000. You don't mean it. Today, under the Better Ghana agenda, mm. widows and widowers mm. of servicemen and women mm. who died in battle seven mother Ghana. In the line of duty. In the line of duty mm. are earning 50% of what their spouses used to earn. And oh. let's not forget. 50% of, 50 their, of their spouse of their, spouse's of their salary. Late spouse's salary. Oh, I get and it. let's not forget mm. that this most of the salaries are affected retrospectively okay. by the single spine salary structure. Okay. So and they so have they arrears. Are, my goodness. At least it alleviates the, it the pressure and the pain, the pressure that, pressure they and pain let, that this family is behind. Obviously. Okay. You look at the prison service mm. and we have commissioned the Ankafu prison, mm -hmm. which is the largest medium security prison in which West Africa. An An Ankafu actually began, it was started by uh, later in the in the term of the of the uh, 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 regime. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, okay. okay. regime. You know, mm. and we have brought it to completion and there's a phase two, okay. which is supposed to send it to a state of the art prison service, okay. which will compare with any in the, in the rest of the world. Mm. Nationals, uh, let's not forget, fire service. Yeah. Mm. The, the fire th service has received 127, the 127 tenders. tenders. This is the biggest yeah. capital or, 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 or tool investment mm. into the Ghana National Fire Service. Mm. We sent our men to the United States, to Germany, mm. to, 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 uh, to, to the United Kingdom for trading. Mm. Okay. And best of all, mm. the National Security Commission, okay. led by Lieutenant Colonel Be <laughs> Larry Bevlo Lati, mm. finally has in custody the limping man. Mm. A key okay. suspect. All right. uh, we, 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 we don't issue. have time. <laughs> and let me take the opportunity to say thank you to my guest, uh, Mustafa Abubakar, who is the PRO for Maslock. And Samuel Judge, who is a member of the government communication team. the phone about ship. <laughs> yeah, exactly so. And we can go on and on and on recounting the successes under the Better Ghana agenda. But unfortunately, we are time struck.